Hey guys, it's Josh. Uh, Jonas is not here at the moment, so it's just me. And we're back with the first of three Karma Games games before my 10th Let's Play starts. 10 Let's Plays, wow. <laughs> anyway. Today, his game is Dakota Winchester is er, Part 3, the third and final part of the series up to this point. And considering how the studio closed down out of the end of last year, probably the last part of the series forever. I'm sorry if my voice sounds odd or strained in this video. I am battling a slight cold at the moment, so my throat is a little bit scratchy and my voice is a bit off. Um, as usual, Dakota Winchester's Adventure, which is part 3, can be found on either congregate.com, Mouse City, or a mousecity.com or well you know the drill by this point and also I can't remember what the other one is oh well I'm sure it wasn't important. Anyway, let's get straight into it. As usual, we're going to go with English as the language because I don't understand any of the other ones. dug my way inside this abandoned old fort, and if my calculations are correct, I'm in the basement. Well, I mean, it looks like a basement, so he probably is right. The third and last ruby of Hilda's box should be somewhere in this fort. I better start looking for it. Probably a good idea. Never find it unless you start looking. So let's do that. Let's start looking. It's too dark to see what's going on there. Besides, I can't remove those bars. I can't get it open. It's glued to the wall or something. It looks like some kind of cover, but I can't get it open. Okay. Can we slip the rip button under it? It doesn't work. Nope. Maybe with this one? It doesn't work. Damn. Professor Merlin Jamison. If it isn't my past student, Dakota Winchester. The worst student I ever had. What are you doing here? I'm seeking for one of Hilda's box rubies. What are you doing here? Oh, you were so stupid in college. And now I see you remain the same. There are no Hilda's box rubies. It's all just a myth. I'm here to find diamonds that used to be stored in this old mansion. Shows what you know, old man. We've already found two. Whatever. So, why are you just standing here? I am thinking. Not that you know what the word even means. Now go away, you cut my train of thought. Yoink. Hmm, I wonder. 
What happens if I use the sword on the professor? I don't think he'd want that. Damn it! Look, I don't care what looked good. I don't care what he wants. I care what I want. Right now, I want to hit him with the sword. Well, that's no fun. Yoink! This is a giant and heavy gear. I can't just spin it with my hands. Besides, I think it's a bit rusty. Well, I mean, it does look... Not rusty at all, so... Sure. A rope with a bucket on it. I can't reach it from here. It looks like a... It looks more like a bu bucket with a rope on it to me, but okay. Uh, let's try it this way. It's a painting of a man. I have no idea who this is. That rope holds the chandelier above. Huh. Okay. Three, five, five. Three, five, five, two, three. No, that didn't work. Okay. Okay. What if we you try he, this? Yay! It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Grr. Okay. Uh... Slash. It's burning! I must put out the fire. Well, this one would have... Take down a chandelier. But unfortunately I can't put it out because I don't have any water, so... It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Stop telling me it doesn't work and tell me what does has work. It doesn't work. This is a giant... Grr. It doesn't work. It doesn't... Grr. I don't need it. This 
chest my whole Let's say Everything looks fine. There once was a Can I use that? It doesn't no. work. No. Well stop telling me what bloody doesn't work. This chest might hold the third ruby of Hilda's box. I must find a key to open it. Okay, great, yeah, you do that. Burning. Uh huh. It doesn't. What else is near? It. 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 Uh, I can't read. You know, if I hadn't cut the. He chandelier down, I could have probably he just cut the he rope up here with the sword. I mean obviously not the developer would probably have thought of that. That does stop me from using the gear, but That is Professor talking to I I Can I loosen? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh, right. Uh, I can't pull. Oh, of course, it's stuck. Now, it doesn't. No, that doesn't work. There? It. Nope. There. It. There. There. It. Uh. It. There. Nope. Uh, I can't pull it down. I think it's stuck. Jeez, we'll give you that idea. So. From Winchester. This is getting ridiculous. Usually I'd have completed it by now. Oh! Hang on. I can't agree. You kidding me? Really? There. Yeah. It doesn't work. A bucket full of water. A diamond. Is this? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Here, you can have it. Dakota Winchester. In the past, I thought you were stupid. No, I'm sure you are. Thank you for the diamond. You saved me a lot of trouble. 
Yeah, you can have my spatula. Use it while you play archaeologist in the sand. You can also use it to flip your pancakes. <laughs> well, he's a jerk. It doesn't work. What? There's some kind. Well, that is loud. Hello, who are you? I live here. Who are you? Let me guess. Another great explorer who wishes to get the hidden ruby upstairs. Well, yes. My name is Dakota Winchester. And you are? It doesn't matter what my name is. You're all the same. Come here, make a mess, and leave. None of you will ever get a hold of the hidden ruby. Why is that? Because I say so. You're not very friendly. You think? I suggest you go back up. The ruby isn't here. Goodbye. This sewer creature is in a bad mood. I wish I could cheer him up. See that cork blocking the pipe? I wonder what happened if we used the cork screw on it. Words cannot express how happy I am. I feel like I was reborn. Good to know. Wait, I'm happy to know that you're happy. Since you're so kind, would you mind playing with me, rock, paper, scissors? If you win, I'll give you a prize. Uh, and I do like prizes. Sure, why not? Three. First one to three points wins. So here's the... So this... Oh, this. This is the most frustrating part of this particular game. You have no way of knowing what he's picking. Well, actually... Okay. Uh, which means he's probably going to get scissors next, so we should go paper. I am an idiot. I mean, I was right that he went scissors, but I was wrong about which one we should go with. Alright, so that's scissors, it means he's gonna go... And he thinks we're gonna go paper, so... If he's gonna go rock, we should go... No, wait, no. Yeah, that scissors, he thinks we're gonna go rock, we should go paper. Then he's gonna go paper, so... Since you found the time to play with me and cheered me up, I'll give you this magical key. I think it will help you a lot. Thanks. And with that, we're going to go back to the box, use the key. I finally got it! The third ruby of Hilda's box! 
Now it's time to put the three rubies in place. I see some gold coins and a map. Now where could that lead? Nowhere, apparently. <laughs> as far as we know, that's the end of the story. We don't know where either he ever found in the he place where the Drusel is. You know. Well, we don't know where, we don't know if he's even found the place where the treasure map, if, well, that. What am I trying to say? We don't know if he ever found the place where the treasure map led him. I'll be honest, this is is probably my least, and this one was probably my least favorite of the Dakota Winchester trilogy. Just because, as the professor was a pain in the ass, and the rock paper scissors is game with the swamp. With a sewer monster creature, it can be very tricky if you don't know the trick to it. Although, I suppose it's the purpose of it being in tricky, you yeah, really. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it's a good game. And it's just not, it's just my least safe. And it's just that it's a Think, Josh, think. It's a good game, just that it's not my favourite of the a trilogy personally. But, you know, to each their own. If you enjoy it, that's perfectly fine. And I'm not going to make a big thing about it, so it is what it is. Um, so... We've got two more Nakamo games games to go before the start of the next Let's Play. Which will be a bit more action-packed than the e. Nelson Tethers is one. And although I noticed that that's my, my, my most viewed series so far. Not counting Kyle Games videos. So, it definitely makes me eager to do the sequel, <laughs> and Puzzle Agent 2, but we'll see when that happens, I guess. So, if you have enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. <laughs> if you have subscribed already but you haven't been receiving notifications, then please click the bell icon down below right next to the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any notifications in the future. Share the video with your friends if you think they might enjoy my content as well. Especially with the especially with my tenth let's play. Is starting next week. Not the not the week after I'm recording this, but the week after this this goes up. Um. Oof. Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts. And as usual, my Facebook, Twitter, and Discord information is in the description box down below. 
All right, well, I'll see you guys next time for more the Carmel Games games. Until then, Josh, out.